How can financial literacy help you as a student? It's indispensable, okay? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get to that six-figure income just with financial literacy. Financial literacy isn't just balancing a checkbook or knowing when you're gonna retire. It's literally your secret weapon, and I'll show you in this video exactly how to set that up. I want you to think of financial literacy this way. With the correct terminology and knowing this, you'll know exactly what to measure, and that that gets measured accelerates dramatically. That that gets measured and managed blows up on you. So in this video, just by learning your financial literacy, I'll show you and your family how to hit that six-figure income quicker than you've ever seen before. So stay tuned. In this video, you're gonna find out how financial literacy will literally pave the road for success. Let's get to it. Now, just so you're clear, okay, if you don't watch the whole video, your financial literacy will go down a dark road and you'll meet Bigfoot and, and their Sasquatch and, and you'll, and you'll be, aliens will abduct you. Thumbs up, subscribe, and most importantly is dialogue. If you've seen an alien, let me know about it and we'll go hang out and talk about it. Anyways, so let's just talk about financial literacy. Financial literacy is so important and yet I get people that get embarrassed about this all the time. And again, like I said in the very beginning, it's not just about balancing your checkbook and what have you. You need to understand what a private retirement account is. And once you start learning this stuff, the first thing I hear all the time is, why aren't they teaching this? I get that. And I can't change the whole education system out there and what have you. I, 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 I truly believe, let's just talk about private retirement accounts. I believe that if the next president of the United States stood up there on the inaugural platform and said, we're gonna make it a requirement in this country that everybody has to take a two week course on setting up their own private retirement account and how our retirement systems work in this country. Thank you very much, I'll be at Camp David for the next four years. It would literally change financially this country because most Americans don't even understand that and that's financial literacy. That's what I mean by financial literacy. If you don't understand how a private retirement account can turbocharge your retirement account, then what are you doing? Then plan on shutting this video off and go back to your job and don't do it. I mean, seriously, just that one technique right there will make it happen. Not understanding what a health savings account and how that can benefit. Not understanding how you can be putting money away for your kids. And here's the great thing, if they, for, for, for college, let me finish that phrase, sometimes I think faster than I speak. Okay, so one of the things, you so I'm putting money away for my, you know, in, in a, a college fund for my kids and they don't need it, they don't use it because your financial literacy is so good that you have money that you can afford to pay for their college if that's the way they wanna go. Okay, guess what? They can actually use that money later on in life as a retirement account. Okay, oh, here's another thing. You've got yourself a kid, they don't have to have a job. Guess what, start paying them. You can pay them, set up a retirement account for them. An IRA, a self-directed IRA. You put six, see, I was, I, was, I was abused as a child, financially, because my parents didn't know any of this stuff. My mom always, she said, don't be quiet, John. But I, seriously, I didn't learn, I learned this stuff. So I want you to think about this just for a minute, okay? You don't have to teach your kid one thing. If you just set up, a self-directed IRA, and every single year you peel off, so let's just keep it even, it's a little more than that, but let's say $5,000 a year, every single year, and stopped at 18 years old, literally they're gonna have a couple million dollars when they go to retire, they just are. Okay, just that one thing right there. So again, I'm gonna go back to the don't be embarrassed if you don't know this stuff. How could you possibly know these things? I was watching a video on a self-defense, uh, it was a shotgun, something to that effect on that. And the guy was going through buckshot and single shot and double shot and he's talking about, <laughs> literally, I had no clue what he was talking about, but the shotgun looked really cool, you know? That's what I was looking at. And I was thinking to myself, because one of my goals this year is I want to learn how to hunt. I don't know why I was looking at a shotgun. I guess that's for birds or what have you. But I'm watching these videos and I thought to myself, I need gun literacy. I mean, I know guns. I know my, I've got my ARs and I got all that other stuff. But I, I uh oh, I just lost some people. They're like, oh my gosh, he's a hunter. 
So what? Anyways, so the bottom line is this. I want to look at this and go, okay, I need to understand. I didn't know there were so, uh, several um, shotgun cartridges, and maybe that's the comment you can put in there. And, you know, double shot, double buck, and all that good stuff. Or there's bean bag ones that shoot just bean bags. I guess that's just for getting an intruder. But I'm sitting there going, God, this is exactly what I talk to my students about. Listen, let's just start with understanding what this is. Let's start with understanding what a foreclosure is. Let's start with understanding what a private retirement account is. How do we literally turbocharge? I, I was literally on the treadmill at the gym yesterday. I was talking with the guy next to me and he said, hey, Sean, I just left my corporate job. He was retiring. And he says, I know you know a lot about these private retirement accounts. This is what I'm gonna do. He started talking about the way they go, dude, you don't wanna do that. I said, you wanna set it up this way. And I mean, literally, he, he put his feet off on the side of the treadmill and he goes, why hasn't anybody told us this before? It was a three minute conversation. I go, well, I don't know. How come nobody's told you about double buck shot 40752, you know, on the, you know, well, cause I don't need to know that. So when you need to know something, understand, don't be embarrassed if you don't understand it. We are in the best time in human history to find out that information. So start off with your financial literacy. What do you need to learn? What do you need to know about? Private retirement accounts are probably the most underutilized financial um, vehicle that anybody ever used. And then I'm gonna go with you know, your kids and just setting that up right there. That tells me that you're serious about getting to a financial picture where you can, where you can be successful. Don't get caught into the trimmings of I need to keep up with the Joneses and I need the latest brand, name brand things out there. I mean, you know, anyway, you know, find what works for you, figure out what that budget is, and guess what? Water finds its own level. I'm gonna tell you something, it's scary. Financial literacy. I worked with a doctor one, this is about 12 years ago. This guy made $4.6 million a year as a doctor and was broke, okay? Water will find its own level. His financial literacy was zero. I worked with him for about two years. I hadn't seen him in about eight years. I just saw him recently. He's going, Sean, remember the lake house? Yeah, I got rid of that. Remember this? I did this over there. Yeah, we invested this over there. We're literally set right now. It was just about, he knew doctor. He was a doctor. He was a great doctor. Obviously, $4.6 million. He was a great doctor. He just didn't understand financial literacy. This is why when people win the lottery, they lose it so quickly. Okay, giving somebody a bunch of money that doesn't understand financial literacy is literally the quickest way to losing it. This is where we get the term, a fool and his money are, are soon separated. Because the fact is, if you don't understand money, it's not gonna happen. You have to learn financial literacy. Probably the next most important thing is measuring. Okay, you have to measure. You should be having a meeting with your family, your spouse, your significant other, whatever the case is, at least once a month. Okay, I want you to think about a football game. Okay, a football game is a game. A year is a year. A football game has four quarters. A year has four quarters. In a football game, they get to take a break every quarter. Halfway through the year, they literally leave the play, play uh, uh, field, uh, field of play and go plan things. Why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you sitting down? What worked? Be honest. What worked? What didn't work? What's work? You know, that's called measuring, okay? And that that gets measured improves. That that gets measured and managed improves dramatically. You've got your eye on the ball. It's gonna grow. Get your financial literacy in order. I don't know a better way to do that than the free course that I've got right now. This literally is peppered with all of that. This is me to you, it's a course. Click the link down below and you'll be speaking financial literacy like no one's ever done before. This is Sean Higgins saying good luck and God bless, thank you.